Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. Well, Christmas is over. It's a beautiful early January day in Germany. <laughs> and I'm thinking about what can we do with the leftovers. And we have several candles that are left over from Christmas. And I remember that I've read somewhere that John Nash, the Nobel Prize winner, once said in his uh, memoirs that he shot candles with a gun that he made at home through a thick wooden board. So I want to find out if Dr. Nash is a liar, if it's really possible to shoot candles through a wooden board. Of course, we're going to use rubber-powered weapons to do that. <laughs> so I dug out my old firecracker shooter for that. But in order to do Dr. Nash some justice, I doubled up the rubber so it's not really, really strong. Because one of these candles weighs 55 grams, and that's pretty heavy. Let's first shoot it over the crony and find out the energy. Okay, we shot the 55 gram candle with 40 meters at 98. Okay, now we'll try it. Hmm, didn't work. Okay, we have enough light for one more test. The rest will have to happen tomorrow. So we're gonna use a wooden candle today. The wooden dowel just had no problem flying through the particle board. So it seems to me that we have to do some more homework. I think we have to increase the amount of rubber on the weapon to make the candles fly faster so that they can shoot through the wood. And we'll do that tomorrow. It's going to be interesting. Okay, one day later. <laughs> so we have increased the amount of rubber by two. So now this is having 100 kilograms, 222 pounds of a draw force. But unfortunately, the candles shattered right in the muzzle from the impact of the bands. So we had to strengthen it with a little bit of masking tape. Now it's getting about 60 joules of uh, energy. And now let's see if it can penetrate the wooden board. Unfortunately, it is too dark for slow motion pictures today. Okay, and fire. Yes. It worked! <laughs> so we shot a candle through a piece of wood. Here is what is left over from the candle. This is the backside. So I am happy to say that Dr. Nash, one of my idols, um, the guy who came up with the Nash equilibrium and got a Nobel Prize for his theories, is not a liar. It is possible to shoot a candle through a thick piece of wood. Of course, my piece wasn't thick, but this wasn't a firearm, and I have no doubts that you can shoot a candle through a thick piece of wood with a firearm. Anyway, I hope you liked this, because that's it for today. Thanks, and bye-bye.